Dr. B. I am waiting for Sonia Lockett to join us for Living Heart Healthy with Sonia Lockett. She is doing some amazing things. She is a nurse and I just had to bring you on the show today because I wanted you to see, hey Jakara, I wanted you to see some healthier ways of living um, because as nurses, Sonia and I are both nurses, we understand the importance of living healthy, especially a healthy heart. And so I wanted um, Sonia to share with us her recipe for success, how she lost 30 pounds on her cholesterol readings. So Sonia, hey, Sonia, come on in, I tagged you. How many of you know your heart scores? How many of you know your cholesterol levels? How many of you know your latest blood pressure reading? Those are things that are really crucial to, to all of us, especially African-Americans. You know, Jakara's on here, she's a nursing student. Um, there's a lot of issues with the heart that happen that a lot of us um, sometimes tend to ignore the signs and symptoms. And that's something that we don't want to do. I know for black women, it's very important that we monitor those symptoms because our heart attack symptoms don't, um, don't, are not the same as, as a male. You know, a male usually has that sharp pain in the shoulder or in the chest. As women, our stuff is more subtle. Unfortunately, our mortality rate is higher. So we have to make sure that we fix that. Sonia, I need you to tap in. This show is all about you. Need her to get on here and try some of those drinks. Jakara, you had some of those drinks. How did you like them? You loved them. They were good. Just trying to get Sonia in here, you guys. I invited her in. Sonia, and come on, tap in, honey. This show is about you. We're trying to show people how you go in your kitchen and you bring up those juices. I know that I had the turmeric and ginger. I had the turmeric and ginger um, lemonade and the turmeric and ginger tea. Now, I don't know about you, Jakara, but that shot she gave me with the Tabasco and the, um, with the red pepper and the um, apple cider, I mean, it, it, it wasn't that tasty, but I heard it's really healthy in terms of weight loss and detoxing. Sonia, where are you? Hey, you guys that are on, just a couple of seconds more, just waiting for Sonia Lockett to chime in because she is the star of the show tonight. I really wanted to share with you guys what she's doing with Heart With Healthy um, LLC. She is a nurse, she is an LPN, and she is out here in the community. She understands the importance of healthy living, and she has took this fight to her kitchen. At request to join, Sonia. I invited you, it should have been a link. I sent you an invitation. It should be a link. Look at the bottom of the screen. You should be you should be able to request to join. Get one of the little kids in the house. The little kids know how to do everything digital. Hello, everybody. Just waiting on Sonia Lockett to join in, trying to get her to get one of her teenagers to show her how to join in on this live. Hi, Letitia. You in. Come on in here with me. This is your show. Come on, Sonia. We got to show these people how to drink healthy, how to get their hearts right. And I know you got it all set up for them so you can give them a demonstration and talk about your products. Hey, there you Hello. go. Hello. Jesus. Hey. I ain't had no little kids, but I had a friend, girl. Uh-oh. 
You know you need you when you messing oh, with you. when you messing with digital social media. Probably. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This is good. Well, hello, everybody. Let's start over. Thank you. I have Miss Sonia Lockett LPN here. Help with heart hello. owner. She is an LPN, and I just love her depth. One of my LPN students, and I am so proud of where she has come today. Um, she actually reached out to me. She had an event where she had a where she was taste where she was offering samples of some healthy drinks that she has, some healthy juices and and agents that will help with the heart. And I missed the event. I, I hate that I missed the event, but she is so committed to the cause. No, it's that a, this is good. Actually has a, a, a saying that she wants to meet you where you are. And when I say meet you where you are, literally meet you where you are. She and I, I she knows that I go walking every morning at Shiawassee Park. And she said, Dr. B, I want to meet you and let you taste these drinks. And I'm like, my walk, that's going to break up my little routine here. All I need is excuse not to do it. And she was like, I'm going to meet you where you are. So she met me at Shiawassee Park. And she sat up there, and you could tell her, her because those infection control measures came out. She had the the, um, the, the mat that she laid on top of the sanitizer. And she said, hey, Sonia, hey, Samantha. And she was ready to go. And she put all, and she put all, laid all of her stuff out. Very, very, very clean condition. I'm saying clean. <laughs> I was trying to get it a little closer to me, but it's fine. She had her alcohol gel there, and she laid it all out for me to try. She had fruit juices. Not she had detox agents. She had That's a good. lot of stuff. I'm talking too much. This show is all about Sonia, part LLC. So, Sonia, let's start off. Tell them, why did you come? How did you come up with Help with Heart LLC? Well, I wanted a name for my company that can be a blanket name that I can put. First of all, hello, everyone. I'm Sonia. I wanted to come up with a name that could encompass everything that I want to put under it. And, you know, people say help, good help is hard to find. So I wanted people to know that we'll help you, but we have heart. So that's how I came up with help with heart. All right. Describe some of the stuff, because I know that you, another reason why you put help with heart is because you wanted to make it more than just um, heart healthy drinks, more than just CPR. You wanted to make it something that encompasses anything dealing with the heart. Tell them a little bit more about what you're doing with that. So, yeah, I do. Part of my company is free education. I want to um, educate anyone who wants to learn how to eat healthy, but especially people in our communities. Um, um, help them realize that we don't have to we don't have to accept diagnoses just because like our family members had diabetes and even cancer we don't have to have those diagnoses just because it's in our genes it has more to do with what we're eating we often eat the same things that our ancestors ate and as a result we get the same diseases they got and we don't have to okay all right. So I know that one of the things that floored me, and I mentioned it, I think, when you were setting up or trying to get on. Hey, Denise, one of the things that floored me was you were talking about um, your cholesterol level. And you and I had a discussion because a lot of times when people think about somebody being healthy, they think about them being within their ideal body weight. They think about this nice, slim, trim figure. But we're trying, as nurses, we're trying to change that mindset. Because as African Americans, sometimes we don't fit into that stereotypical mold, but we can still mm -hmm. be considered healthy. So tell them about right. cholesterol, and tell them about why you feel that you don't have to be um, five foot um, nine, one hundred and thirty pounds to be considered healthy. Yeah. So um, a lot of times they people look at us. For instance, when I went to the doctor this year. Um, I had a new doctor. She didn't know any of my history, but she automatically thought that I was diabetic or I had high blood pressure. Even the um, medical assistant that was taking my vitals, um, she kept asking me. She asked me three times while she was taking my blood pressure, do I have high blood pressure, before she even saw the reading. And so I kept saying no, and when the reading came up, it was almost perfect, 120-something over 80. Um, I guess she was surprised, but I'm not sure. But it's just one of those things that I guess maybe when you see me or when you see someone with my body type, you just assume that I'm unhealthy. But I always say, you know, you can have a skinny casket, 
you know, skinny doesn't equal healthy and big doesn't equal unhealthy, you know, so you just can't judge a book by its cover. But when you when you decide that you want to be healthy and heal your own body and, and, and um, care about your own life enough, you'll start to recognize that you can do things to heal your own body. And then you'll learn so much that you want to tell people how to heal their bodies. And that's what I want to do now. All right. So tell them about the cholesterol story, the little the cholesterol story you gave me. I meant to write down my numbers, but my cholesterol, um, I stopped eating meat. It took me over a year to completely stop eating meat. But um, meat and dairy products is the only place where you can get cholesterol. That's number one. So I wanted, I wanted to eliminate any source of cholesterol. So I stopped eating meat, and my cholesterol went from maybe 235-ish. I was maybe about five points away from needing cholesterol medicine. And I came all the way down to 205, and perfect is 199, 199 or lower. So not only did I bring my numbers down, I don't, I don't, I don't potentially have to have the medication anymore. But it's a whole thing because – even though I don't have diabetes, I'm pre-diabetic. So that's one thing. Even though I don't eat meat, I still eat a lot of junk and I still eat a lot of sugar. So I have to fix it to where, you know, when I go back in three months, I don't have to be on diabetes medication. That's and that's right. something that I want to teach people. You don't have to, even if you have diabetes, if you eat the right foods, you can reverse diabetes. Insulin injections will never cure diabetes. It's not a cure. It's just a Band-Aid. I want to teach people that because people think they have to take that stuff for the rest of their life and they don't. Okay. All right. So with, with help with her LLC, what are some of the things that fall up under that umbrella? What are some of the things you do with that company? So the first thing is I make my healthy drinks. I have um, ginger and turmeric tea and lemonade. That's actually what I'm drinking now. I just drink it. Um, I drink mine without sugar, but I do offer it sweetened or lightly sweetened. Um, and as I think you, I think I heard you saying before, your was the tea your favorite one? The, the between the tea and the lemonade, it was a slim. Like I actually have the tea and lemonade mix. That's what I just drink all day. And um, this is another one. This is a I call it green machine. So this is just um, mostly vegetables, but fruit, and it's green. But don't let that turn you off. This is some of the healthiest stuff that you can drink. It, it, might, it might not be delicious because there's no sugar in it. But it's healthy, so I just drink it. And I, like, eat a banana with it just so I can get a little taste of sweet. But I know that this is healthiness that I'm putting in body, so I don't mind how it tastes. So, what, so let's back up a little bit, Sonya. So what, so what is the importance of people taking the ginger and turmeric tea or lemonade? What does so it the happen? ginger and turmeric, ginger and turmeric are superfoods. They have lots of health benefits, like they um, decrease inflammation in your body. Um, they help with migraines, PMS, they can help you fight cancer, it helps with lupus, it helps with um, so many different disease processes um, that people have in their bodies. It helps your gut, people with IBS or Crohn's. Ginger and turmeric have many, many benefits. Okay. All right. So, and there are other juices. So, we had ginger and turmeric, the tea and Yes. And, yep. And I also do, this is a green smoothie. It's just fruits and vegetables. Um, there's no sugar in here. Of course, you can add sugar, but sugar has its own um, disadvantages. So I choose to drink it with no sugar. But what, I also do juices. What types of fruits and veggies are in there? So I've been, this past two weeks, I've been making juices and smoothies for people. And when you juice something, it pulls all the juice out of it and it leaves the pulp. So all the pulp that I get from the products, I freeze it. And so I just put it all in the blender and I put some water with it. And I put extra greens with it and I just blended it up. That's what this is. But juices I make, I can I can make it with any fruit or vegetable you like. You get a bag of frozen vegetables with bananas and strawberries or berries, or you can get the mango mix. Any type of fruit or vegetables that you think you would like, I can put it in there. And, of course, I always add some greens because greens are life. <laughs> They're very healthy. So, yeah, I'll just, you know, you, you might be thrown off by the color of it, but I always say if you put a little, if sugar will make you eat fruits and vegetables, put sugar in it. Of course, we, we want to stay away from the sugar, but however I can get these fruits and vegetables in you, get your kids to eat it, get your, your grandma and them to eat it, however we can do it, let's do it. All right. So you so you have the greens, you have the ginger and turmeric, and what mm -hmm. else do you have? Um, just, just the ginger and turmeric tea, lemonade. I have um, smoothies. I have juices that I can make. Also, under my help with heart, I do CPR and first aid training. 
And I also do healthy diet teaching. That part is free. If you want to learn how you can change your diet, so maybe heal your body or just even want to ask me questions or I'll send you videos, link to videos, that part is free. Because learning how to eat healthy, you shouldn't have to pay for that. And I don't charge for it. Okay. You gave me a shot with some um, apple cider. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Those are the detox shots. So they can be made with apple cider vinegar, which has its own benefits, um, anti-inflammatory benefits, things like that. But I add my ginger and turmeric to it. And if you want it to really be detox, you can add cayenne pepper. It burns fat. It speeds up your metabolism. It suppresses hunger. Um, all, all kinds of good stuff like that. All right. So, so yes, in addition to that, I do have the um, detox shot. Okay. You have smoothies also, right? Yep, smoothies and juices. Smoothies and juices. So as a nurse, um, again, we realized with COVID-19, the issues that we were having as a, as a Black community with all of our heart issues. So as a nurse, and you're out there in the community, and you're trying to encourage people to eat healthy, to be healthier, what is some of the, give us like the top five messages you would want to give people so that they'll know to live a healthier life. Five messages that I would want people to know. Um, you have more control over your health than you think. And that's number one. Number two would be you don't have to make a big drastic change in order to feel better. Like like I said, I stopped eating meat, but it took me over a year. I, I think I, I would like to think I've inspired my sister. She's been three days without meat so far. She's been listening to me over a year talking about how I don't eat meat and how much it can do for you. So that's number two. And then number three is, yes, with COVID-19, you know, it affects black people more than, you know, more than others. But we can do things to even help that. Fruits and vegetables naturally boost your immune system. And having a strong, healthy immune system is what helps you fight COVID-19. It helps keep you from getting it, and it helps you if you do get it. Um, so I'm not sure what number I'm on, but I just want to drill into people that, you know, eating healthy is not – it's not a racial thing. It's not a male or female thing. Everybody can do it, you know? Right. So I think we were at number five, and I think that strolls into another part of what you do with Help With Heart with the CPR training. Tell us a little bit about that. Who needs CPR training? Is it just for nurses? No, it's not just for nurses. Learning how to perform CPR and first aid can actually save lives. Um, if you see, not only if you just see someone choking or if you're at a pool and you see someone um, needing mouth to mouth, it actually can help you um, recognize the signs of stroke and it can help you with um, just recognizing the things that's going on in your community. If you know how to save, if you know the techniques, you can actually notice when someone is having a stroke or you can notice when someone may be having a heart attack and you know what to do in that situation. All right. So I think you brought up two very important things, two things that happen a lot in the black community are strokes and heart attacks. Can you just give some highlights real quick of some signs and symptoms people need to recognize for a heart attack and signs and symptoms that they need to recognize for a stroke? So um, signs and symptoms for stroke and heart attack can be similar, um, but they differ slightly from men and women. Sometimes women can have a um, heart attack or a stroke and they won't even have symptoms or they won't pay attention to their symptoms. Like you can think you're having heartburn and it's two, three days, you know, oh, it's nothing. It's just heartburn or I'm going to get it checked out. That could be a sign of a stroke. You can have pain or numbness in your arm that seems to travel up. That's a sign of a stroke. You can have a headache. That could mean that your blood pressure is elevated and you may be having a stroke. So different signs like that. And then when you, when you, uh, an obvious sign of a stroke would be someone who has, is having slurred speech. Or if they are confused and they're normally in their right mind, all of a sudden they're confused. Um, things like that would make, make mean that someone's having a stroke. Okay. All right. Um, how do people get in contact with you? So you can contact me. Um, I have my, they can contact me on Facebook and Instagram, Health With Heart LLC. Just in the search bar, you can find me. Um, I have a phone number. I have a website, not a website, an email address, helpwithheart at yahoo.com. Um, I think that's it. What's my phone number? <laughs> phone number for Help With Heart is 313-402-9062. All right. Um, and I'll have all of this posted on uh, on the page, and I'll link it. I'll share it. 
Does anyone watching have any questions for Sonia? Sonia like help with heart LLC CEO LPN. She keeps teaching us about a healthy heart, ways to make sure that we protect it by recognizing signs and symptoms of heart attack, recognizing signs and symptoms of stroke, making sure that we know CPR and CPR is not limited to only adults. Kids need to learn how to do CPR too. Um, making sure that we are eating healthier, making sure that we are adding greens to our diet. I know you talked about diet. I mean, I had to like get on my husband forever. It's like he thought that the only green thing in the world was green beans. I'm like, no. That's green beans. And then no. something as simple as you know, smaller portions. I mean, I don't, I, I think that as a community, we were taught to not get up from the table until our plates were empty. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I have a fix that, then give me a saucer. Don't give me a big old platter. If you give yeah. me a saucer, I make sure I can get up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so and speaking of greens, I actually, I do greens, not, I call them not your grandma's greens, because when I do greens, I have kale and spinach, and you can have collards or turnips, and I just put cabbage, every green I can find, I put it in a big pot, cut up uh, garlic, mushrooms, onions, and I don't put any meat, I don't put any Salt pork or anything like that, you're getting all the healthy benefits no, of the greens. <laughs> you can put you some hot sauce on there. If you need a little salt, that's fine. But I eat it plain because that's the most healthy you can get. You're getting all the nutrition of the of the greens and you're not you're not uh, missing any of it by adding the um the animal protein. So that's I see how you just rattled off a, a um a recipe. So with your healthy heart education teaching, are you like giving people some tips for recipes? Anyone who wants information, if you want recipes, I can send you links. I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest cook, but I know I can send you where to get some recipes if that's what you want. <laughs> and I can send you videos of uh, documentaries of people who have healed their bodies, lupus, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, all that stuff can be reversed if you, you know, if you eat the right way. All right. There's a question. Um audience and if anyone else has a question feel free to type it in um someone is asking how much is a bottle of the tea um so the individual bottles of the tea or the lemonade are two dollars and i can you can get a gallon of the tea or the lemonade for 25 dollars. all right so so that's the tea and how much are the smoothies or the fruit juices the smoothies and the fruit juices are going to vary. It depends on what kind of fruits and vegetables you want. So I can't really give a price. I can say they start at about $35 because if you buy $10 worth of produce, I'll buy the produce for you, uh, or you provide the $10 for the produce, and I'll charge you $25 to prepare it. So that will be a starting rate of like $35, depending on what fruits and vegetables you want. All right. And what's the turnaround time? Turnaround time is one week from when you put in your order. Okay. Because as you already know, I'm I'm working mom. I'm trying to make this my real job, but as of <laughs> now, I'm still working. So, but um, give me a week and I'll have your order completed. All right. And so tomorrow you're doing a demonstration, and I think I'm a I think I'm a um pick up. I think I'm a drop in and pop talk. Please. You're doing the demonstration so that people. Yes, yeah, so I do. I do drive up demonstrations. I had my launch at a building and it was really short notice, but I did have some people come out. But if I, I will come to you just to let you taste my um, products and just to tell you more about how you can um, use them along with the healthy diet to, um, to help get healthy. All right. I have a question, Miss Heart Healthy. So is, is red wine considered healthy? Um, in theory, um, there's a lot of things that are considered healthy in theory. For example, olive oil. A lot of people think that olive oil is healthy because it's olive oil. Um, so I got one from one of the doctors that I follow. Healthy compared to what? <laughs> Red <laughs> wine will probably be better than drinking straight liquor. But, you know, drinking water will be even healthier. Olive oil is better than vegetable oil or canola oil, but no oil is even better. So when you talk, talk about healthiness of things, healthy compared to what? Okay. All right. Yeah. So sometimes when we think about healthy, it's about moderation too, right? Just making sure that we don't do a lot of things in excess. Because I know like me, I like staying away from white things. I, I don't like sugar. I don't like flour. I don't like bread. I really don't do rice and potatoes. So it's yeah. just a matter of 
picking and choosing what works best for you. So it, it, that's exactly right. Sometimes we get so caught up in the word diet. And people get caught up in um in components of food. For example, the keto diet is really um, popular right now. And people, if I'm not mistaken, people on the keto diet, they don't want to eat carbs. They're scared of carbs. Carbs are your friends. You need carbs. But what, what people do with carbs is they'll do the white pasta or they'll do the white bread. Potatoes are carbs. Potatoes is one of the most healthy things you can eat. But how you make it unhealthy is butter, sour cream, bacon bits. The stuff that you put on the vegetables is what makes them not healthy. French fries. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> yes, you're frying them in oil. So, you know, you're stripping the healthiness away and you're adding all that saturated fat from the oil. So, you know, carbs are not a bad thing. It's just knowing the information because, you know, a lot of us don't have the information. A lot of us haven't been given any of the information. I had to read and do my own research to find out half the stuff that I know now. It was definitely not taught in schools. And unfortunately, doctors... They go to school for all those years, and they get very little nutrition education, which is why doctors don't really know to tell you that you can heal yourself with food. Let medicine be like that. Food be thy medicine. All right. So, Sonia, someone is asking, are you going to sell your shirts? And if so, how much? I'm not sure I had this shirt made today. Um, I'll get back to you on prices for my shirt. also have bags. This is a bag up here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it has the logo as well. Um, I will have price information on these for anyone who wants it shortly. You have you have a web a web page for your site, don't you? I don't have an, a physical website, but I have social right. on Instagram. A Facebook page. I'm sorry. A Facebook page people can join. I have Facebook and Instagram. It's Help with Heart LLC. All one word, all lowercase. Okay, so if they follow you. on our LLC, then they can find information not only on how to purchase the juices and how to purchase the drinks, but information on your CPR classes, information on yes. how to buy your t-shirts and how to buy your bags and how to... Yes, all my, all my contact information is there. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment or leave me a direct message. Either way, give me a call or text on the phone, all of those avenues to contact me. All right. And what we'll do for those that are on the show after this, um, after we air the show, we'll go back in and we will drop the link to hey felicia we'll drop the link to her facebook page so that you guys can follow her on her facebook page because believe me this is not the last you're going to see of nurse like it no not it's not so <laughs> thank I, you so much dr b no thank you hey Emmett, how are you um so i, I didn't want to take up all of your time you guys because i know that when we're processing information we can only take it in chunks and the longer someone talks the more you forget so we just wanted to drop in here real quick i wanted to introduce you to nurse locket her so she can give you some great tips on help with heart nurse locket i am so proud of you i can't thank you going. can't wait to get my ginger and turmeric you know i think i want Palmer. I think I want the lemonade and tea mixed up. Like, yeah, that's why I've been drinking this all day, actually. Yeah. Um, so any party work for us? Um, no, if you guys want to find out how to get healthy, find out how to save a life with CPR and first aid, or just, just chat with me. Give me a call or contact me on social. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. This is Dr. B's Best Life. We were talking again with Nurse Lockett, Help with Heart, LLC. We were talking grown folk style on how to make sure you guys save your heart and stay around for another 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. We got this. All right. Yeah. If you have any comments, <laughs> last-minute questions, drop them in the chat. If not, we will be seeing you around the way. Like I said, I'll probably go live tomorrow. Sonia's going to be actually doing a demo. I, a demo. Mm -hmm. If I'm finished with my walk by then, because, you know, I got to get those 10,000 steps in. If I'm finished with my walk, then I'll be there. If not, I'll kind of whisper in her ear and tell her to go live while she's where she at. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Thank Bye. you. This is Nurse Lockett. Thank you so much, Sonia. I wish you so much success. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.